I am sure you recognize this Android version. So this is this device is amongst my first Android device when I purchased many years back. Uh, before. I guess this is six and a half year old device, Micromax Canvas HD. It was running on Android uh, Jelly Bean. It is running on Android Jelly Bean, and it will run the it will run always on the Android Jelly Bean because there is no update going to come. So guys, this is an explain series. I got so many comments uh, from a couple of days back. Uh, getting uh, constantly uh, regarding the project table and what is that please make an explain video so this is your project table explain so everything you need to know i'm just trying to make this video simple in a just a uh, basic way i'm not considering you are from the software background or you are doing some software stuff so that you can understand it very easily now if the project table is created what is the reason behind that so to get this answer in a simple way just try to uh, you know use any phone or just try to remember when you first time unboxed your phone what was the Android version running? What is the current version running? How much time did it took uh, in between that to get that latest Android version what you're running right now? So this is what you can come to know why uh, Android versions are taking so much time to get to a device. So this is what Google is trying to address this problem. It won't fix that, but it will just try to help you or it may speed up, you know, to get the latest version of Android. It is very important to get the later version of Android because once you purchase the device, it is fixed. The hardware is just fixed. You cannot upgrade the RAM as always it's not computer. Only the new Android versions can give you some set of features, you know, like the picture in picture mode in the Android Oreo. The only device which are running with the Android Oreo can get that feature. So definitely software is more important. How I can tell you. This phone can take much better portrait shots using the software compared to the hardware compared to the iPhone 10. This is why software is more important. So in case you're using any device which are completely stock Android or the Android one, which is just also stock Android, you will get update faster because you know Google just maintains that thing. It's pretty quick and simple. They just have to send the updates to you directly with few modification. But in case you're using any devices which are almost close to stock Android, like uh, the Nokia devices, almost pixel-like experience, the OnePlus, Lenovo, and some other manufacturer have shown you a lot. So. They also send you update faster because the overall work that need to be done to make the update will be smaller. But if you're using some manufacturer like the Samsung, they took eight or maybe more than a year sometimes to get you guys the update because it is such a complex. So let's get started. Before you get into that project table, you know, you need to understand what is there inside the Android that makes project travel to be created. So I'm going to show you guys in a basic way, just using pen and paper, what is there inside Android, uh, which needs project table to be created. Then we'll take a look on the project table and also at the end of the video, how you can check whether your device is project travel supported or not. So for the better understanding, I'm just going to divide the current Android OS, whatever you take in just complete three different parts. So these are three different categories. The first part is the user interface where we actually interact with our phone using our touch screen or any buttons there. So user interface, it's simple. We don't need to bother too much about that. It just can be fixed with any minor software update. No problem with that. The second major part is the core Android OS itself where the complete OS resides, the Oreo, the Nougat, whatever is there, it just sits here. And the last part we have is the driver part, which is the low level part, complete, uh, you know, complete deep level. Nobody can check it, you know, except the companies who are creating that. So uh, it creates total three different categories, the part one, part two, part three. Now we're going to see which part uh, Google is going to implement the project travel. As of now, hopefully in the future, something else should be implemented. So the part three, the driver, or we can call it as a vendor implementation. Google is trying to get rid of this uh, time taking steps, which is actually take some bit of time to, this is the initial phase of part. Now let's draw again the code again. So this is your Android. Each year Google releases, uh, gives you new code. Obviously the latest devices gets here, the Pixel and the Nexus. Now the Pixel 2 only. Now Google uh, shares this code first uh, to the uh, vendors one, you know, who creates the hardware part. So you can call it as a silicon uh, partner manufacturer. So these are the companies which create main modules like the processor, your battery later driver, your camera driver, the Sony itself. Uh, just companies like Qualcomm and Samsung Exynos or Huawei Crane, whatever companies create the major hardware, the processor itself is the main part module, sub part we don't need to bother about them. But these are called as a vendor. So they create their vendor test suits, each company who is going to take their processor, for example Qualcomm, they need to you know comply or certify their product using that vendor test suits for the Qualcomm. Just take an example, now they used to share their code to the device maker. So any company who creates a smartphone, like them, Sony, HTC, they are being called as a device maker. So these are the companies who has to actually implement first their vendor test suit. 
then they need to change their hardware software code itself the complete rom is created by the device manufacturer every company takes their most part of time getting their rom it is so complex like the galaxy vendors are also going to take a little bit of time now these device makers companies they have to do some extra part so now after writing the complete rom they need to obviously test it make sure like it is working fine or not like the companies are running this open beta program or their own itself so they can share it to the qa team it can be with the device maker itself or it can be to some other third party company now there are some carrier partners too for example in india there is geo atel which preloads their own application they need to test it too or you know there is companies like uh, verizon at&t sprint major carriers in the united states and uk they need to test those things so this is where uh, again this is part is going to take a little bit of time because obviously smaller things need to be tested first so that makes total a three major categories part one part two part three part four is also very important it won't take much time but yeah it is there at least a month or two months you can say that so finally a uh, fifth category is the are uh, the v where we actually get our software update where we keeps on checking check for update button this is where we are receiving our software code so there are a lot of steps involved in creating software update this is guys in summary about the project travel let's move to the official google blog where the first time they unveiled that or they pointed all this information to us on the may they told that uh, device which are going to launch uh, out of the box with the android oreo they are project table compatible that means obviously all the device which ships with the 8.2 out of the box like the pixel 2 xl are compatible but the pixel xl older devices are also compatible google's devices only not other devices recently today uh, on the xt developers forum you can check out the redmi note 4 also you know being made to the compatible to the projectable i don't think so it's needed for you guys in case your rom is clean simple companies pushing fast updates like the nokia and oneplus so it should not be any problem you should be getting update these steps uh, involve routing stuff storing trap and i won't recommend you guys go with that it's risky too you can break your device somehow i just don't want to go with that now the third is guys how to check it the best way to check is to install an application called as a tremex the link is in the description it is free application no problem with that doesn't need any root you just have to install it and you need to execute a command call as a get prop space ro dot treble dot enable once you execute that command this command is going to read your build or profile which is kind of main important file if it returns true that means your phone is stable compatible if your phone returns false that means it's not implemented like i mentioned older pixel devices are the google devices they are projectable compatible since they return true the newer devices like the nokia 8 and the oneplus 5 i'm just showing you are they are launched with some other different uh, os for example nougat they came with they are in projectable supported but like i said you don't need to bother about too much about them because these companies are very quick in sending so software updates so let's leave that thing so this is how guys you should track check your devices compatible for the project table or not so guys there it is uh, this is your project table explained i'm sure i'm hoping guys you guys can understand now why project table has been created and how to check whether your device has a project table support or not now again it's not guaranteed if you're running a stock android phone or close to stock on it company will give you constantly update it will just you know depends on company too but most companies just try to give you update now project table does not guarantee you're going to get always the first update it just you know remove the one step still there are three steps left the carrier you know the qa testing and all the stuff it's gonna take so much time anyway guys whatever it is so this is my take on project table and this is project table explain hope you guys did enjoy it so enjoy this android jelly bean and that's my new unboxing night not for this channel but for my cooking channel thank you for watching this is Saurabh. i'll talk to you very soon have a great day